Now that our cabin is finally weather tight, we can move on to some other projects. We've got plenty of siding that needs to be milled for next spring. And I was thinking it would be nice to finally sleep on a real bed. Follow along and check out what we do this time up at the cabin. My name is Josh, and this is my lonely mountain. So I had this idea that I was kind of dreaming up, daydreaming about, and I was thinking about a headboard. Um, and you know, I really like that log furniture look, but there's just not enough room there in the tiny cabin. So I'm gonna do something a little smaller. And yes, I did actually go to the lumber yard. Um, this is one by eight pine, and it burns up really nice with a little torch. I have to tell you, in my years of carpentry and construction, I've never really tried this technique before, and it was a total blast. Um, at the end, I did clear coat it with uh, an aerosol spar varnish clear. And we kind of slapped it together with some wood glue and my finish nailer. Now we gotta load it up and get it up to the mountain. I don't know if you guys ever feel like this. Maybe it's a dad thing, maybe it's a human thing, I don't know. But I feel like I'm always moving stuff. Boxes, totes, uh, handmade headboards. It's just, there's always something that has to be moved. I swear that's, you know, that's my second calling as professional mover. Now, when we were still in our Ozark Trail wall tent, we kind of upgraded to these Coleman cots, which are such a game changer. That uh, if, I mean, if you're getting older and you still love to camp and your hips might hurt or your back or any of those different things, this is the way to go. Loved them. Um, but I'm kind of done camping now that we built the cabin or, you know, at least camping here. So I wanted a real bed. It was kind of my dream that this little room that we built was going to house um, a queen size bed. So my sons lucked out because they got to upgrade to these Coleman's which we put up in the loft. And I know what you guys are saying, now Josh, you haven't insulated, you haven't done the walls whatever that may be, and you're kind of jumping the gun here. Well, yeah, story of my life. Um, I get excited about stuff, and I just want to see what it's going to look like, and I get that this is going to have to get taken down. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. This is an Amazon bed frame. And I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video because I think it's awesome um, it was a couple hundred dollars came in a very small box um, 
it was really easy to put together. And part of the reason I wanted it is it, it has an 18 inch height, which is perfect for sliding storage totes under. Totes that could have camping gear or board games or dishes or extra blankets. And in a little cabin, storage is at a premium. Now, Josh, why didn't you build a bed? Well, you know, it's going in such a tight space. I mean, I thought the headboard was going to kind of be, you know, that I was going to build the headboard. I will tell you, this thing does not squeak. It doesn't rattle. It is stout. Now we're up here on Thanksgiving weekend and I'm here with my oldest son. Um, he loves the mountain, he cannot stay away and so I can't tell him no. So he was my, uh, my buddy on this weekend. Now this is also an Amazon purchase and it's not that I didn't want a real mattress, it's that, you know, I gotta transport it. And so this mattress is crazy. It fit in this tiny little box. And you gotta be careful when you open it because it'll push you across the room because it's uh, like vacuum sealed. Now, while we're up here, we're getting down to business. We've got siding to get cut, stickered, and stacked, and ready for spring. My plan with this cabin is to board and batten it, so you're gonna see some pieces come off anywhere from one by eight to one by 12, and then we're gonna drop down to one by three for our bats. Now I dropped these trees exactly a year ago. So they got to sit out all summer, all through the seasons, and um, they really cured out pretty good. They ran through the mill grate too. They weren't sappy or pitchy or... So we have two different trees we're working on this weekend. One's a ponderosa pine and one is a dug fir. Um, I obviously know that those act different and look different, but we're going to carefully drop some trees on our property and use what we have here. Now some of you guys, you may have seen my other videos. I absolutely love my Woodland HM126. It is my absolute favorite tool so far and it's just indestructible. This is my first time having it at the mountain. As you can see it's a portable style. I even got to build some sawhorses from the trees on our property. That was a great feeling. I feel like this was a really successful Thanksgiving weekend and I was just so happy for, for my time there.
Thanks for watching My Lonely Mountain. And have a good one.